So maybe we could begin by talking about the electrical nature of life and how the brain and the heart and our nervous systems are essentially like finely tuned electrical systems. Yes, they are. And in medicine, we use electricity in diagnosis, often in treatment of various diseases, but we're in denial about that it goes the other way, that our cells are electric, that our nervous system operates electrically. We tend to to concentrate on the action potential as a signal that accompanies the movement of chemicals, the transport of, of sodium into our cells, the transport of potassium out of our cells. And we forget that the essential signal that begins all that is the electrical. Swan cells, the perineural cells that surround our nerve cells actually carry electric current, that our heart works electrically. This is how electrocardiograms work. If you stop the conductive pathways, your heart's going to stop. Since the advent of, of cell phones particularly, our, our brain is increasingly being modeled as a very complex digital computer. And in fact, that's probably not true. There's a whole other aspect to our brain and our body and in our organism that is analog and that transports real electric currents, not just pulses of information. And this is consistent with what has been known for over 5,000 years in China. Acupuncture is really a sophisticated electrical model of the human body. They have thoroughly studied the way electricity flows through the body and the way our organs and our systems function in relation to the flows of energy and the blockages of energy and how to work with those things. Correct. And not only the flows within our body, but the flows into and out of our bodies. They have this concept of the dantians and the point at the bottom of your feet, kidney one in, in acupuncture is called bubbling springs. Why? Because that's where the energy or electricity to be equivalent bubbles up from the earth into your feet. And the point on the top of your head is where it bubbles down, so to speak, from the sky. It's, it, it's a continuous circuit between the sky through our bodies for acupuncture meridians down into the earth. And the Chinese they talk about it as between heaven and earth. And the earth is electrical and our atmosphere is electrical as well. And there's a dynamic relationship between the two. We live in what's known as the global electrical circuit. The upper atmosphere and the ionosphere are largely charged ions, electrons, protons, charged oxygen atoms. Electricity travels with great facility through the ionosphere, lightning is an electrical phenomenon. What people do not so much know is that the Earth is also a good conductor and conducts electricity. Our electrical utilities use that to good advantage because a lot of the return current from your house back to the power plant actually travels through the Earth. This is why houses and appliances are grounded because the Earth is a good conductor. And the part of the circuit that is remaining closes the circuit through the drift of, of atmospheric ions between Earth and sky, and they go through our bodies. And this is the part of the electric circuit that we actually live and breathe and stand and work in an electrical field of about 130 volts per meter. This is what travels from sky to Earth via atmospheric ions through the top of our head, through our acupuncture meridians, and down into the Earth. And all life exists in a very similar way from animals and insects to plant life as well. Everything is completely dependent on it. And affected by everything that's in the atmosphere electrically. This is what's very important and this is why I wrote my book. This is what our society is in denial about and has been in denial about for a very long time, resulting in the fact that we are broadcasting electricity now freely through the air without a thought as to what it's doing to us and what it's doing to our environment. And I'm, I'm talking specifically now about wireless technology, cell phones and the like. And throughout this book of yours, you share documented research and studies that demonstrate the actual effects of various forms of electrical technology on our physical health.